Hello today's video we have the following content. Yang Mian's anxiety if we have a relationship, Tang Yan is going for awards, Pen Guanyin is popular, and Meng Xiaoyi benefits. 1. Meng Xiaoyi seems to be the big winner in variety shows. She was bad mouthed before, but after participating in the show, everyone's impression of her has changed. She has a good personality and can bring a lot of fun to the show. Every time she appears on the show, she can attract a lot of attention. Now, the roles she takes are basically the heroines have costume dramas too. In addition to the drama he has already worked with, Pen Guanyin was also invited to play a supporting role in a movie. People in the industry think he has great potential, good acting skills, and is not difficult to get along with. Everyone is willing to work with him 3. Tang Yan now prefers to choose scripts with realistic themes and is not very interested in those pure costume or idol dramas, unless they are orthodox costume dramas, but such scripts are rare now, and they have to go through strict review before they can be broadcast. Her current goal is to change her image, stabilize her career, and strive to win some important awards for Yang Mian's anxiety of what you were college classmates. They had a very good relationship during college and often played together. They also interacted on social media such as having meals together, visiting the set, etc. Yuan Shanshan and Jiao Jun Ian also often played with them in college. Next news. Both are 85 flowers. Comparing Zhao Lian and Liu Yifri, they have their own characteristics and are equally matched. Stars in the entertainment industry are always replaced by one generation after another. The older generation gradually retreats behind the scenes, and new faces continue to emerge. However, there are always some people who can stand firm in the circle and become evergreens. This actor has almost never played a supporting role since her debut. It feels like she was born to eat this bowl of rice. The other one worked hard for more than 10 years to gain a foothold. He has long seen through the warmth and coldness of the world and finally became a big boss. Liu Yifri. She has a good family background. Her father is a diplomat and her mother is a dancer. She has lived a rich life since she was a child and is excellent in everything. Influenced by her mother, she dreamed of becoming a dancer. When she was 10 years old, she went to the United States with her mother and went to school in the United States. Five years later, she returned to China and studied at Beijing Film Academy. When she was just a freshman, that is, when she was 15 years old, she entered the entertainment industry. She is well known for her role as Bai Ziyasu in the story of a noble family. This arrogant role of a young lady made her amaze the director in her first performance. Since then, her acting career has been smooth. Wang Yuan in The Demigods and Semi Devils and Shao Linger in The Legend of Sword and Fairy. These roles let the audience see the aura of this girl. Her every move touched the heartstrings of the audience. Later, she played in The Return of the Condor Heroes and was named Fairy Sister. Maybe it was this title that made her look more like she was not worldly. She always looked extraordinary. After accumulating popularity in the field of TV dramas, she entered the film industry to seek greater development space. Her role of Nizia Okian in A Chinese Ghost Story was also eye-catching. I didn't expect that the goddess would also perform poorly. Everyone knows that the TV version of Eternal Love is very popular. Yang Mi gained extremely high popularity because of this. In the movie version, the role of Bai Jin was played by Liu Yifri. This drama not only failed to gain popularity from the original, but also suffered a big setback. Because of this drama, she was nominated for the Most Disappointing Actress at the Golden Broom Awards. This is probably the last thing she wants to recall in her acting career. Later, she acted with a male god in ancient costume and dream of Hulu, which was simply a sweet treat for the audience, and the screen was full of pleasing handsome men and beautiful women. The one that is still popular is the story of Rose. The plot in the first half is like it was specially made for her. The teenage girl at the time showed a playful and cute energy. Now she is 37 years old, and she exudes the unique charm of a mature woman. She is so beautiful at every age that people can't take their eyes off her. Zhao Liying. She was not born in a wealthy family, but she has a tenacious energy. Compared with the previous one, it is a completely different scene, and she lives a particularly colorful life. She grew up in an ordinary family in Hebei. At that time, it was difficult to even have a full meal. She went to a very ordinary university and her major was flight attendant. At that time, she thought it would be great if she could become a flight attendant. Unexpectedly, she ended up working in sales after graduation. Obviously, sales was not for her. For grassroots salespeople, if they are not good at talking, they can't survive. 
She was like someone who went to the battlefield without weapons. Fortunately, she discovered it early and later switched to clerical work. Every day, she filled out forms in the office, and her life was quite monotonous. At this time, she remembered her childhood dream of becoming a star. She accidentally discovered a competition called Yahoo Star Search. She signed up, regardless of whether she could win or not, she would give it a try. Unexpectedly, she really gained something. She made it to the finals with her baby face. After being spotted by the director, she signed directly with Hawaii Brothers. She was able to partner with big names like Ningjin and Tangu Okian right after entering the industry. Everyone thought that her star journey would be smooth and she could show her talents, right? In fact, her experience in the entertainment industry had just begun. She played the third daughter Duaduro in Golden Wedding. At that time, her acting skills were still very immature. In the next few years, she played supporting roles most of the time. It was not until she participated in New My Fair Princess that she was gradually discovered by the audience. The leading actors in the old version of My Fair Princess performed quite well. It seems to be an unchanging truth that new versions usually cannot surpass classics. Unexpectedly, I was attracted by the role of King Er. Zhao Liying's performance was no worse than Wang Yan. It can be said that it is the most eye-catching role in the new version. Later, she became famous for starring in Legend of Lu Zhan. The struggle story of the heroine was quite inspiring, as if it was a portrayal of her. Shan Shang Kums was also very popular at the time. Although the plot was cliched, the silly and sweet role she played was still quite likable. The journey of flower and princess agents pushed her popularity to a new height. But after that, she began to change her acting style. And do you know, she gave people a feeling of being well behaved at first, and then became particularly tough. This seems like a refreshing story, but in fact, everyone has learned a lot from the truth in it. Her performances in Happiness to 10,000 Homes, Wind Blowing and Half Summer and 21 are also quite good. Every role makes people feel empathy. Who is better? Born in Rome, she has lived a wealthy life since childhood. Maybe some people think that it is natural for her to have such achievements. With such a good family background and such excellent conditions. If she didn't achieve these achievements, she would really be sorry for such a good environment. In fact, from ancient times to the present, there are also children from wealthy families who are useless. Her achievements are not innate. These achievements are the result of her years of hard work. Especially things like big fire. If you really have money and power to become famous, you don't have to work hard at all, just spend money at home. Not everyone has audience appeal. She just stood on the shoulders of giants, so it is easier for her to stand out. And this giant depends on fate. After all, you can't choose your own reincarnation. After so many years in the industry, she has always been dedicated and insisted on herself. And there is no need to curry favor with anyone. Let alone deliberately trying to please the public. Some people think that she is aloof and unwilling to bow her head easily. But this is because she has enough strength and confidence. If a person with nothing claims to be aloof, he will starve. In contrast, Zhao Liying seems very approachable. In fact, this is usually not a good thing for celebrities. But she can carve out her own world under unfavorable circumstances. If Liu Yifei's success is difficult to imitate, then is Zhao Liying's path to success easier? After all, judging from her background, it seems a lot easier to imitate her. But why is she the only one who rushed out from such a starting point? To accomplish something, timing, environment and personal efforts are indispensable. Timing and environment cannot be controlled, but many people can't even pass the test of hard work. Let alone copying other people's achievements. Both of them are leaders in the industry. Although their backgrounds and paths are different, their success is by no means a fluke. Conclusion. Instead of always envying others, it is better to concentrate on improving yourself. For the audience, actors who can produce good works are excellent. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,